Good morning, group four. All right, group four. Um, you pick the red jasper. So red jasper, grounding. Red jasper is also um, very empowering. It's a good stone. They recommend it to people like um, who's been like victims of sexual trauma and things like that, actually. Sorry, I should have said trigger warning. Um, but yeah, these are actually a good stone for that as well. Red Jasper, like I said, power men, um, grounding, stone of the root chakra. Okay, on the front of your stone, it says awareness. So spirit is wanting you to be aware right now. I'm feeling about aware of your past and the things and where some of your ideas spew from, I'm feeling. Also, be aware of where you're going. Be aware of your surroundings and the things that are around you. Um, kind of take them in. So that means to also stay in the moment. Okay, so stay grounded. And I'm feeling, and also confidence. Okay, let's see group uh, four. What your cards have to say for you. Completion. So group or I feel like, and look at that, you guys got a four here. I'm feeling like um, you guys are coming to the end of a cycle right now. A lot of you group four, you're so-called graduating. You passed the test. You guys completed some things, group four. You finally listened. You know you're getting your shit together. Okay? And spirits wanting you to know to keep moving forward. Celebrate that. And keep growing. You know, because it, some of these things were like monumental to you guys, I'm feeling. Like it was stuff that you guys kept going through over and over again. You know, you guys learned the true meaning of karmic cycles. And I see that you guys have um, chose to rise up and kind of speak your truths, group four. And congratulations, you guys are at the end of a cycle here. Let's see what we get some further clarification. Hope. So for some of you guys, you might be actually going through a cycle as well. I'm feeling like for some of you guys too, you'll be traveling near water. If you haven't already, group four. Uh, maybe trips to New York for some reason. I'm feeling like uh, that's the Statue of Liberty back there. Well, this card, this uh, Urban Tarot deck is based out of New York. But that Statue of Liberty, I'm really feeling the presence of it. I'm feeling like um, you guys might actually be traveling up there or maybe on the coast near the water, Maine, somewhere in that area. Um, spirit wants you to keep hope for the ones that you that are still in this cycle and growing get your personal confidence I think I said that in the beginning um, get your confidence and believe in yourself your whole being um, believe that spirit is also guiding you as you are guiding it like you are all in your um, I feel like spirit's got you like they're carrying you um, if you remember that I don't know if you've ever heard that footprints, footprints poem um, where it says, like, you look down and you realize that it was then that God was carrying you, you know, when you only seen the one set of footprints because you thought it was that uh, you had been doing everything yourself, you know, and now you're finally becoming aware that it's not and that God is the one that's carrying you. The divine is the one carrying you and guiding you. Spirit is there with you. You're not alone. And I feel like that confidence is helping you to make it through. Um, you becoming aware of more of these things. Let's see, your ancestors, the father of coins. Okay, so the father of coins is someone that's stable in their, in their money, you know, like they, they got their shit together, okay? So like I said, for some of you, you guys have been working on getting your shit together. Um, for others, like you guys are still in these cycles. And for the ones that are still caught up in these cycles, because that's what this card was telling you, how to, how not to. Um, I asked the ancestors, how could you not uh, end back up in the same situations, basically? So Spirit is telling you to watch your coins. And this kind of looks like a big coin here. You know, so be careful with your money and your spending habits. I feel like spirits telling you, watch your coins. Don't fall back into that, that overspending. Um, I just heard some of you guys credit that things like that. Don't fall back into that, okay? Um, and burning the midnight oil. I just heard burning the midnight oil. So some of you don't wear yourself out also. Some of you guys need to get into a practice of spirituality and also a place where you're balancing things. Um, I 
I'm sorry. I paused like that. I was having a moment. I'm channeling right now. But um, I'm really feeling like some of you guys might need to, uh, yeah, get into a place where you're balancing. I'm feeling like this fire. I don't know why I feel like the candle is lit and unlit. And I'm feeling like some of you guys just need to find that common space, that balance in between. And that's going to help you from repeating the past cycles that you had just, you know, that you guys are getting out of now. Okay. Hollow bones. So also always remain teachable. I don't know. Uh, like I said, in this right here, this two and this eight, ten. So you guys are completing a cycle. Um, hollow bone, though, teachability. I'm hearing right now, learn that you guys, group four, know that you can learn from anyone. You might look at something and feel like, oh, that vessel, that person doesn't have anything to teach you. And they just might. Just because somebody's homeless right now doesn't mean that they've always been homeless or they've never been married or they never had kids. It just means that they might have made one mistake and it sent them up, you know. But it doesn't mean that those w words that they're preaching to you might not be wise. So make sure that I'm feeling here, um, even though it says hollow bone, I'm feeling stay humble in these acts um, also. And always remain teachable and try to learn from every situation, okay? Winter's in. So once again, regeneration, rebirth, positive outcomes. So group four, you guys are definitely um, graduating to a better place. And the ones that haven't and that are still in the brush and the thick of it, you guys will be there soon. Okay, you guys are you're, you guys will be there soon. Just r remain aware, remain teachable. And uh, you guys are having this rebirth and regeneration right now. That is so beautiful. You know, and I feel like because some of you guys, you was feeling really hollow, hollow inside. You know, you was like bare down. And that's what it took, though. It took that. You know, I was the same way. I had to hit like damn near rock bottom. It wasn't rock bottom, but damn near for me to like really start listening, following my journey and taking care of myself and being aware and following my heart. So good for you, group four. And for your spirit animal, um, whale spirit, for some reason, I'm feeling like curiosity Death to the ocean, like the deep blue sea. And I think I said that with the number, um, with the first card, that you guys are going to be having, I feel like, some type of water. If not that, maybe start doing some spiritual baths, spiritual cleansings um, to keep yourself balanced also, to keep you clean. But I'm feeling like going to the depths of the ocean. So be curious. Remain curious as you guys are growing. Like I said, remain teachable. Trust the great mystery. Trust and have hope in your future and, and the things that are coming to you. Because you guys have really graduated. And like I said, you know, whales, they get old. Like you guys have really, you guys have made it. And you guys have made it through some stuff. Be proud of yourself groups for. And like I said, for the ones that haven't, you're almost there, okay? You're about to have your head above the water is what Spirit just said. You're about to come up for air. Okay? That is beautiful. Have a blessed day, you guys. Bye. <laughs>